Welcome to Midwest Outdoors. My name's Greta Baker, and today I'm here for the NAIFC's 2014 National Championship, sponsored by McCoy's. Now, something about this year's National Championship, different from the rest, is that they can bring in, the fishermen can bring in, crappie, bluegill, or perch, whatever, whatever they want. So let's follow them out and see how they do. hold seven qualifying tournaments in the past ice fishing season. So for these guys to come here and fish at the national championship, they had to place within the top 10 of one of those qualifying tournaments. Now the national championship is different than in qualifiers because at the national championship, it's a two day tournament, Saturday, Sunday, and we fish from eight to two. Now at qualifiers, it's just Sunday and we fish from eight to one. So these guys are gonna be out here for an extra hour today. So hopefully that'll help them catch a little bit extra fish. I'm here with Steve Stoddard from Montana. So tell me, obviously fishing is going to be a little bit different, but um, how equipment wise is fishing different from Montana to here in Minnesota? Equipment wise, uh, the rods are basically a little, you know, a little lighter with a little more action, you know. For here in Minnesota. For, for here in Minnesota, for the, you know, the bluegill and the crappie. But when you come out here, it's a whole, you have to just kind of relearn the whole fishing for crappie and bluegill and perch because that's that's something we don't get a whole lot of fishing for and so the first three days you're just trying to catch something just to make sure you remember how and so because it's a different bite it, it is definitely a different bite standing here with me is jack baker also my dad dad how's the championship going kind of give us a little lay down championship's going great we're up on mille Lacs, isle bay uh we've got perfect ice conditions, the weather is cooperating great, and the fish are biting. So explain to me what kind of fishermen do we have here, where are they from, and a little background. Well, you've got fishermen from across the ice belt. We've got Vermont all the way out to West Yellowstone, Montana. we got Can Canada is here. We've got them out of uh, Manitoba, Roger Stearns out of Winnipeg. It's going good. with Chad Schwab out of Michigan. Chad was the 2012 bronze medalist at the World's Ice Fishing Championship. They have a pretty good bucket today and he's trying to make a team decision on do they keep catching and uh, filling the bucket upgrade or save them for tomorrow, what's up? Yeah, it's, it's a killer question. We need two more, we got two like eight inch crappies that we could upgrade, but if we burn them out, we could kill ourselves for tomorrow. So we're just kind of blocking the spot right now. We, we wanted to troll through, but everybody wants this spot because they watch us catch some fish. We got two spots that we pulled good solid fish off of, and we just, we're blocking is all we're doing. Little little tournament tactics late yeah. in the day on yeah. the first day. Keep yeah. it up. Thank you. All right, the fish are in the bucket, the bucket's in the trailer, and now we're gonna take the trailer and go to weigh in. So let's get this going. Here's number 59, 988. Looks like they've got a, a nice fish here that's pretty excited when one of them big ones comes up the hole. <laughs> I didn't have a real big one come up the hole. That's that guy. Gotta ask this guy, did the heart get pumping pretty good? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, feels good, don't it? Yeah, it does. So how big is it? One, five, two. So a pound and a half, it basically is. So how was your fishing today? Well, after three years, I finally caught a crappie. That's all I can tell you. So how about you? Did you get your share of them today, or did Eric catch them? Uh, we both uh, kind of divided the labor. Um, we were on a good hole, a um, couple of good holes, and uh, we, we didn't move all day, which is kind of odd. But uh, we played offense and defense, and we're lucky to get in that little channel. You know, there's some traffic moving through, and got both nice crappies and bluegills, but the crappies were better. 13.27. Yeah, shaking out there a little bit today? 
I was shaking when we were in the line because I didn't know what we were going to have when we got out there. But once you get the line in the water, you kind of the nerves go away, you know. So and their weight is sixteen point one. That's it for day one of the 2014 NAIFC National Championship. Our leaders are Jack Halverson, Chad Nissen. Stay tuned to see if they can hold on for the win on day two. Midwest Outdoors, we'll be right back. Second day, championship. We're doing equipment inspection. We start at seven. They take everything out. If it's big enough to hold a fish, we take a look. We pat every soft area down. Nobody brings fish into an NAISC tournament. We're good to go. I'm here with Jack Halverson, leader of day one. Uh, is this your first national championship? This is my second national championship. All right, and how is it different from last year to this year? We're, we found the crappies this year. We found them last year, but they were very finicky. I guess now, today, it's more grouping versus over there. What was your thoughts of coming here versus back well, there? Well, we didn't have the best launch number, and we didn't like our chances of fishing in the crowd, and we knew there were more weeds. So we got away from the crowd and we found them over here. So we fished here yesterday all by ourselves and there wasn't anybody around. Does that seem to work out for you? Yeah, it worked really well. I'm here with Zach and he's using an AquaView, which is one of our sponsors. Okay, explain to me what you're doing here and kind of how, why and how and why. Well, I am going around using my AquaView with the case here and uh, finding the crappies. Um, when I find which direction they're heading, um, hopefully I have a hole drilled in that direction and I will move to that hole and uh, fish the hole, the, depending on what the AquaView shows me. So you're just using it more of as like a, a sighting thing, you, or do you f actually fish with it? No, nope, I don't usually actually fish with it. Um, I see a lot of people fishing with it. Uh, I feel like it might be another thing, the cord to get caught. Yeah, I'm cord really, to get caught. Yeah, cord to get caught. So that's not something I do. I use it to mainly scouting. Scouting? Especially in the shallow, clear water, mm -hmm. like we're here at Mille Lacs. So. Okay, cool. Well, thank you and good yes, luck. Yes, definitely. Thank you. All right, as you can see, it's a team deal. At these tournaments, you get the big fish, and it's... As the person reeling in, you get a lot of adrenaline and you need that extra help, that extra hand to get down there while you're pulling it up to make sure nothing gets away. So it's, it's nice when you can have that person to rely on. Funny thing that you're gonna find at a lot of these tournaments, especially the national championships, guys are fishing with five inch, six inch holes. Well the crappies here are so big that they can't they can't fit up the hole. So you're gonna have one guy holding holding his rod while the other one's sticking his hand trying to pull him up with all his might. So it's a good problem to have. As you'll notice behind me, a lot of the fishermen, this is a really packed in area, they're all sitting on one weed bed. Well, one of the rules that we have here at the championship and on all of our qualifiers for the NAIFC is that they have to stay 15 feet apart. So we come across with rope and we measure it out from hole to hole to make sure that nobody's, you know, crowding in on one person's spot or another. So it can, can get pretty intense. Well, you'll notice that here he has a stick on his ice scooper. And some of the teams, and partly what he was doing, is the weeds are so healthy here, so tall, that they will get stuck in the hole and you have to move it so that your fish is, has a clear path to your hole. So he was using this and stirred it around trying to get the weeds out of the way. Let's head up to McCoy to get ready for weigh-in. So 
know you stuck stuck to your same holes you fished uh, the, the, the yesterday, I assume. Yeah, I, I don't think we had much of a choice to do anything but go back to the holes we were at. If we would have went out to somewhere else, somewhere we didn't pre-fish, I think that would have been pretty silly. But hindsight, maybe not a great idea, but I, I don't think we really had much of a choice. So you must have got you must have got a few copies today, though. How many, how many copies did you get? Fifteen, I think. All right. Well, that means you're obviously going to be moving up here. And you lost a lot of it. But was it the big ones that got away? Of course. Of course it was the big ones that got away. They always get away, don't they? Yeah. You know, I've seldom lost a crappie under a pound and a half. 13.81 <laughs> is their weight today. Here they are, folks. In 2014, NAIFC National Champions. That's it for the 2014 NEIFC National Championship. I want to congratulate Jack Halverson and Chad Nissen on a monster weight of over 32 pounds. I also want to give out a big thank you to McCoy's Resort for hosting us again, and thank you to all of our sponsors. If you want to find more information, go to the website, naifc.com. I'm Greta Baker, and thanks for watching.